Hey guys, so normally I go over lifts that are a little bit more technical, the squat, bench, deadlift, things along those lines. Uh, however, one that I've been using quite often that I really enjoy that I have a lot of people use is the leg press. Now I kind of want to go over how to use the leg press. There's a lot more to it than just getting up here and putting a bunch of weight on and bending your knees. And if you approach it that way, that's all that's going to happen and then you're probably not going to get very many results or uh, positive outcomes whatsoever from the time and effort that you put into this machine. Um, and then you're going to run into people, you know, talking about how the leg press isn't as superior to the squat uh, or, you know, that you can hurt your back on the leg press or hyperextend your knees and all this bullshit um, that really just isn't necessarily true. But we still want to um, treat this like it is a barbell compound type of movement. Okay, so when we start this movement, it starts at the feet, glutes, belly, lats, head, and then you get to move. All right, so it's the same exact cues that we use on a squat or even the deadlift. All right, so first off, it's foot placement. All right, so once again, just like with a barbell squat, depending on where you put your feet on the pad is gonna hit the muscle slightly different. Okay, so for just bare basic kind of uh, thought here, the lower your feet, the more quad you're gonna get. You're the, the lower down on this platform, the more forward your knee is gonna go over your toes. Uh, it's a little bit more quad activation, whereas the higher you go, you're gonna come down with this uh, more of a straight angled chin, uh, which is gonna recruit more butt, hamstring, hips, just like a low bar squat would. Uh, so, but when we get into this, like I said, we're gonna approach it just like we would an actual squat. Come up, set your feet where you want. And notice, I, I don't just put them up here. I'm gonna grab this platform with my feet. I'm rooting into this platform, spreading my toes. And then from there, I'm gonna try and get my butt fired. You see this? I'm gonna scoop my butt, flex my butt, twist my feet into this press, which is gonna lightly push my knees out. Then I'm gonna breathe in deep into my belly. And then last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these handles and I'm gonna pull myself down into this seat. All right, grab your handles, feet, glutes, belly, pull. All right, so as you'll notice here, I'm using the same cues that I do in the squat. Root, open up the hips, come out early, which is gonna allow me to get into this depth down here, as opposed to if I don't do that, and I come about right here is really all that's gonna start working before I start getting pain in the front of my hip flexor. Uh, also, you can see that my lower back is uh, kind of wanting to come off the pad there. We don't want that. Your lower back rounding on this is essentially the same thing as butt wink in the squat, okay? So, things to remember, Tight, pulled into the seat. This is very important. If you don't pull yourself in, watch what happens. I kind of start to roll up a little bit. It's a little bit of pressure in my lower back. So I'm gonna come here, pull myself. Full range of motion, none of this short choppy bullshit. Uh, with that being said, if you're looking to target the quad specifically, going down low with a little bit shorter range of motion. He's going to hit this quad quite hard. All right. Uh, I think that's it.